This is Video Lancer. In this video tutorial, I will show you how in After Effects, using AI features, it is very easy to make similar 3D transitions. For comparison, here is an example of the same slideshow, but with regular white transitions without the 3D effect. In addition to 3D transitions, I'll show you how to quickly improve the animation of any static images by adding depth and parallels to them. To create these effects, we will use my free parallax tools for the Motion Bro plugin. To get it for free, visit my website, motionbro.com. Open the Motion Bro plugin and drop here the parallax tools installation file. Here, in the Transition section, you can find dozens of ready to use transition presets. The Loop section has various presets with looping camera animation. The Effects section contains several basic effects ready to use. Before applying any preset, you first need to add the corresponding 3D scene to the timeline. For example, let's create a loop animation. So, create a new full HD composition. Next, go to the Create section. Add the 3D scene loop to the timeline. And now you can apply any effect or loop to the 3D scene. Next, we will replace the default image with a custom one. But first, we need to convert our 2D image into a 3D mesh. This is very easy to do using this free AI service. So, make sure your image is full HD and drop it into this field. This checkbox must be enabled. Click the Submit button and wait for the 3D mesh generation process to complete. Download the resulting 3D model. Go back to After Effects and import the 3D model here. In the 3D scene composition, open the 3D model holder comp and replace the default model with yours. Now, all presets will affect the 3D model you added. To customize the added effect, open the 3D scene composition and select the Settings layer here. Now, in the Effects panel, you can customize all these parameters. The Scene Center parameter will allow you to change the position of the camera's point of interest. This is especially useful when animating the camera's orbit or adjusting the field of view. For the Loop Animation preset, you can increase or decrease the camera shift distance. This property will allow you to change the cycle duration, that is, adjust the animation speed. If you want to create a custom animation, add the custom 3D scene to the timeline. Open the 3D scene comp and go to the Settings layer. Here, animate the position and rotation of the camera. When animating, Try not to move the camera too much so that the fake edges of the model are as visible as little as possible. And finally, you can add a camera shake and other presets from the effects section. Next, I will show you how to use the presets from the Transition section. So, create a full HD composition and drop the footage here that you want to join through the transition. For in footage, select the frame from which the transition will begin and place a marker here. Trim the end of the footage immediately after the marker. For out footage, select the frame where the transition will end. Place a marker here and trim the layer. Now, Move the time indicator to the in footage marker, and here, add the 3D transition scene. Move the second footage to the end of the transition layer. Next, we must replace the default images currently in the transition scene. To do this, let's render the frames marked with markers. Move the time indicator to the first marker and select Compositions, same frame as File. In render settings, Select the best quality. In Output Module, select PNG Sequence. Do the same for the second frame. 
Now render and then convert the resulting snapshots into 3D models. Go back to After Effects. Drop the model of the first footage into 3D Model Holder in. Drop the second model into 3D Model Holder out. Now you can apply any transition preset. When creating 3D transitions of this type, it is impossible to avoid the problem when fake edges of the model are visible. To improve the transition appearance, you can try to reduce the camera movement distance. Finally, you can change the duration of the transition. To do this, simply increase or decrease the length of the transition comp. Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss new video tutorials and products for motion design. This was Video Lancer. Bye.